Um, I think, uh, you know, obviously after a couple of nominations and having been doing this music for a long time, um, I, I think it's not so much uh, walking away from the dub that is, um, that, you know, is exciting. It's just the fact that um, this ragtag group of individuals who literally came from nowhere doing the type of music that a lot of people just didn't really understand and have a, a clue about. Um, have been able to impact lives and have been able to change lives and that people are recognizing that and I'm really grateful um, that, that that's being celebrated. So yeah, um, really just working uh, with uh, Vicky Latea um, over at Central South and uh, she's just uh, been like a you know an auntie <laughs> for us and uh, and really just uh, connecting us with different uh, individuals and then she introduced us to the Nevis sisters. We really love their art and uh, we, we we made some music. Yeah, I think, um, you know, hip-hop, a lot of people, you know, hip-hop is, is, you know, nearly 40 years old and, uh, and you know, it's really just starting to make headway within uh, Christianism. So I'm grateful that Christians can have a voice within hip-hop culture and that, you know, older generations and younger generations can come together all for the glory of God and, and use their, their gifts to honor the Lord Jesus. I'm really grateful that I think our music, hip hop music, is, a, is what I would call transcultural. There's not a lot of transcultural um, musical genres out there. Um, the transcultural just meaning that it, it all races, ethnicities, and people from all walks of life resonate with hip hop music. And so you, you're able to get into the stereos of people from the suburbs, from the hood, from Japan to Australia, um, and all over the world, and uh, you're able to articulate uh, things that God put in doors. And I'm really grateful. Um, that God has chosen to raise up uh, us for that time. And it really is a privilege and an honor. I, I started rapping as a little kid, and I really wasn't aware of Christians um, doing hip hop music or rapping, um, but they were. And um, I just didn't know about it. Obviously, it wasn't as, as fully developed um, as it is now, and um, to where you know, we're able to have an entire label, Reach Records being one of them with a, a roster of, of rap artists. And, um, and so, you know, I think there's a definite place uh, for a young artists now and, and, and young people who say that I want to use my gifts and I want to do hip hop music and I also want to articulate things that God would endorse. I think, um, I think, you know, me being able to, um, to be nominated and to actually win this award says to a lot of my contemporaries who do hip hop music um, that uh, your voice can be heard and, and, and can be recognized and it's not going to always be political. But, you know, ultimately God's in control, he's sovereign, he's, and he's running the stage, so whether or not we're acknowledged or awarded, we're still going to be out here, we're still going to be doing our music, we're still going to be trying to impact lives, and, um, and we do it so that, you know, we can lay our, 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 our awards down at the feet of the Father, not so that we can go home and say, look what I got.